Hello, traders. Uh, hello, traders. Uh, the title of this video is uh, How to Trade the S&P 500 Stock Index with Precision. All right, so you may be wondering uh, what is uh, trading with precision. All right, in order to trade the S&P 500 with precision, we want to know, okay, the key levels that the the market participants are monitoring, all right? So if you do not trade or look for high probability trading setup around key levels, you will be going round, 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 round. So in order to trade the S&P 500 with precision, the first thing that we want to know is, uh, okay, are the key levels. What are they, not any key level, but the most influential key levels all right without wasting too much of your time the first key levels that the professional are watching is uh, the long that the first and long term equilibrium price level for the s p 500 now the first and long term equilibrium price level for the s p 500 is 2192 2192 you want to remember that level very very carefully that level is here you see the orange line here that's the orange line here you see that the price went up okay uh, in fact since 2016 the price begin the 2016 from here and a boom 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 and it hit that orange line here that's the 2192 that's the the first and long term equilibrium price level for the s p 500 if you are trading okay the s p 500 or stocks that are listed on the S&P 500, you want to know the long-term equilibrium price level for the S&P 500, all right? So here it is, the first one, very, very important in order to trade the S&P 500 with precision. The first key level is 2192, all right? Let's move on. So there is another key level that I want traders to remember. So this one here, the first one that I told you now, 2192, we want to remember that throughout 2017. So whether you are day trading, swing trading, you want to remember that level, note it down in your notebook. Okay, very, very important key level. Now, there is another key level here, this level here at uh, 2344, four, this one here. It's a very important key level, 2344. You want to note it down because the prior is now above the 2192 and is heading towards 2344. So if this uh, S&P 500 continue to go up and reaches this level, we want to monitor the reaction of the prior in this zone. Look for chart pattern, look for, okay, high probability trading setup around that zone. So what we are saying, it does not mean sell at 2344. It means that if you are already buying uh, or you buy now, and the price approaching that level, secure your gain, all right, and wait for the next reaction, will leave breaks above that 2344, retest it, all right, so let me show you, so will it break above that 2344, and retest it, and find the support, and continue to go up, so break above, retest, turn around. All right, will he do that? All right. So the next key level after the 2344 is 2402. I talked about those two key levels before. So remember 2344 and 2402. Those are very important key levels that the professional are watching. But the most influential key level is the 2192. Very often, because it's the long term equilibrium price level, if the SP 500 start pulling back a bit, all right, there is a high chance that if it start pulling back, all right, it will try to uh, seek a refuge, so to speak, to find a support near the 2 1, okay, 9 2. That remains to be seen, all right. Apart from the 2 1 9 2, 2344 and 2402, there is another key level that we call the short term equilibrium price level. The current short term equilibrium price level for the SP 500 is at a 2267. Okay, that's the turquoise line here. So, right now, as you can see, this month of uh, February, the price breaks above that. Uh, the, the, the current uh, short term equilibrium price level 2267 and try to retest. You see the tail here, and people bought it near that level of 2267. So, 
that key level 2267, we can monitor that level up to the end of February 2017 because it's a short-term equilibrium price level. Contrary to the long-term equilibrium price level, the short-term equilibrium price level will remain in place for two weeks or three weeks or so, all right? So that's why I say to you, we can monitor this level 2267 up to the end of February, something like that, all right? And then we will have a new short-term equilibrium price level. But the long-term equilibrium price level, we don't want to forget that level at all. So for day traders and swing traders, it's very important to know where is the current short-term equilibrium price level in order to look for high probability trading setup around those uh, influential uh, key level. All right, The short-term and the long-term equilibrium price level are influential key levels. All right, so... Talking about how to trade the S&P uh, 500 stock index with precision, we want to trade around influential key level. The first influential key level, 2192. What usually takes place, the price will deviate from that level, and at one point, okay, it will try to retest it unless we have a new, okay, long-term equilibrium pass level, all right? Same thing. So we are looking for key level. How do we trade around key level? Break it below, retest, turn around, or break below, retest, turn around. Price start going down, price will form lower high and lower lows. Price going up will form higher lows and higher high. Okay. So here we are. This is what we see now. Okay. We know now the key level. So we are mapping out. Okay. The chart. Where are we going? The price always going from one key level to the next key level. So as you can see here, uh, it went up from uh, two one nine two. All right. So you see here, it hit it here. He acknowledged that level, pull back. Now he breaks above it. He, he, he didn't retest it yet. Now as he start going, now we are watching the next key level. The next key level. This is the current short term equilibrium pass. He breaks above it now. Okay. Will he pull back a bit to retest it before heading to the next key level, two three four four. Okay. From one key level to the next key level. All right, and so on and so on. All right. Looking at the current market environment, the market is quite bullish because of the election of Mr. Trump uh, and the policy of Mr. Trump. People believe that the United Economy, United States economy will do very well as Mr. Trump is the president. All right. So that the sentiment is bullish. So don't look at the chart because the chart will not fool you at all. So we know that uh, there are a lot of things has already been placed here. You see this long portion here and then the pullback here. So there's no match for this trend to continue more. But what usually take place because the trend was in place since 2009 or actually 2009 to 2017 was being in place. So uh, we are reaching the top of the market. All right. So don't, but don't just sell it. All right. What I want you to understand is that when we are approaching the top of the market, all right, and the market is still bullish, all right? We are we will usually see okay, the prow will will uh, form a kind of triangle, all right? You will try to form a kind of triangle because what is going to the mind of a uh, professional is that though the market is becoming very very bullish, all right, but people still want to buy. People uh, the smart money become very very cautious because they know that the market is reaching the top. So we are likely to see a kind of a triangle before, so probably go up to a next key level. So here we are, if you push it through 2344, you may try to pull back to retest uh, to another trend right here. So watch out for that reaction. So we are likely to see a triangle, remember that, okay, at the top of the market. So because it has been in place, the trend has been in place for some time, but the market is still bullish. So you see, it push it like this and then pull back. So will it push it again to the pink line and then pull back to the to the green line, you see this trend line that I draw here. So something like that, Shopee market, probably going up again, and then push it again to 2402, and then retest it or come back down altogether. So watch out for those key level. The first key level, 2192, first long-term equilibrium price level that we do not want to forget throughout 2017. The next key level, 2344. Third key level, 2402. The market is very bullish, likely to form a triangle as it's pushing it at the top of the market. So watch out for this trend line here, this green one that I draw here. I'm on a monthly chart, by the way. So remember those key levels. So push it up, pull back. That's how we want it. So you see here, you push it up to the, the long-term equilibrium price level, pull back. Now, will they push it again more before pulling back to the green line? 
and then we are watching okay remember this triangle all right the prime will be confined in this uh, triangle here as we are reaching the top of the market but the sentiment is still uh, bullish it will form a triangle pushing it up all right so uh, before I close this video, there is uh, there are two trend lines that are essential for trader to remember at this junction. So the first trend line that I want to highlight, I'm connecting this point. You see here this point, all right, and this one here. So drawing a trend line connecting those two points. Bear with me a second. I will call it. Uh, I'm running out of color now. Have too many. Uh, okay, let's call it uh, in red. See the right trail line, you see here, this one. Remember that tra trail line, you see, the, connect this point and this one here, very, very important. So as you can see, the price now above that right trail line. So the intersection between the current, this is the intersection between the current short-term equilibrium price level, 2267, and the right trend line, that's, that's a hot a spot trading zone. So the price is now above that right trend line. Will it pull back to retest that right trend line? So be aware of that right trend line and also the green trend line here. So try to draw this trend line on your chart and do not remove it at all from your chart. Leave it there throughout 2017, connecting this point and this point here. Leave it on your chart. There is another trend line that I want to draw on my chart. My apologies to trader because I have too many lines on my chart, but I don't want to remove them. So we will connect this time this point, this one here, where my cursor is, and this one here. So connecting this one here to the second one. And I'll color it also into red so you can see it on your chart. Can you see it? This one? Boom, 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 boom. Boom. So here it is. We have two red trail lines. All right. So the first one is this one here. And the second one is this one here. <laughs> Are you confused? <laughs> don't get confused. All right. Let's remove some line so you don't get too confused. All right. Don't get confused, my friend. Stay focused, please. All right, so here it is. So just for a moment, I will, I will change the color of my second red line into pink so you can see it on the chart. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it. That's it. Can you see now? This is this red, this pink red line, you see here? So this, uh, if it's pulling back, be aware of, uh, okay, that pink red line, okay? I'm going to change it again to red. I prefer red for this one. So those are the key levels I want you to remember. So the first trend line, the first red trend line, and the second red trend line. So the first one, we call it this point, and this one here, every this one, we call it this point, and this one here. And you want to trade around those trend line and key levels that we have already mentioned, all right? What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go quickly to the weekly charts, all right, stay with me. So on a weekly chart, I remove one line. Okay, there's something here. The price form a triangle here. You can see there was a triangle here. You see this triangle here. What I want you to remember is uh, to measure uh, the height of the price action, I will use a conservative measurement instead of going to the bottom of the tail of this uh, candlestick bar. I will start from here. This is a conservative measurement, all right? So from from the, from here all the way to the top, so before the price start forming a triangle, use that distance from here to here, all right? So then you project it, all right, on top of the triangle right here. There is a, a target level in that zone, in a zone of, uh, call it uh, 2314, all right, 2314. There is a target, there is a price target at 2314. You don't want to forget that, all right? Very, very important, all right? 2314, by measuring, because of this small triangle here, we measure, I use a conservative measurement. If I, if I extend it, all right, so we can if I go to the low of that, uh, can the bar, it will be near the 2344. All right, 
2344, you see now, 2344 is also a target. If we measure the distance, all right, from the low, from the low of uh, this uh, candlestick bar here, that will form, we bring us to the price target of 2344. But if we use a conservative measurement, all right, that will bring us to 2314. So there is a price target at 2314, but also the ultimate resistance is 2344. So if you don't want to remember 2314, just remember 2344 in that zone, in that zone, around that zone, there is a price target. All right. Another thing I want to highlight to traders, I will go this time uh, to the daily chart. Uh, on the daily chart, we can see that there was a consolidation here. You see here, a big consolidation here. Price was oscillating. So if we use uh, the height of that consolidation, we are talking now about market geometry. You see the height of this uh, okay consolidation here. If we project it right on top of, uh, okay, uh, the turquoise line here, we have a target a little bit above the 2344 at 2379. So be aware of 2379 also. There is a price target there if we use okay the width of the consolidation on the daily chart. All right, so this is about how to trade the S&P 500 stock index with a precision. Now, what usually take place, we want to, so now that we are on a daily chart, what's happening on the day, what can we see on the daily chart, all right? So apart from, you see the green line that I draw on my, uh, okay, monthly chart is still here, but on the daily charts, all right? So we, if we project, uh, as I told you now, we project the width of uh, that, uh, <clears throat> uh, consolidation as we did here all right we need to also anytime we change time frame we need to draw trend line all right so there's a trend line like you see here connecting this point and this point and this one here okay see as you can see the triangle is uh, a fractal pattern now that is forming so on a daily chart we have a smaller you can see that we have a smaller a triangle being formed now it's being formed this is why we are expecting the market to form at the top of the market when the market sentiment is still bullish we will expect a triangle to be formed it's a warning because uh, one group of uh, the market participants believe that the price should go up more another group is believing that one should be cautious therefore we are likely to see a triangle at the top of the market all right the market is bullish but it has been bullish since 2009 we are coming to the top uh, we need to be a little bit careful. It doesn't mean go and sell anyhow, but it means trade around those key levels, all right, and uh, look for high probability trading setup, okay, around those key levels. As, as we can see now on the daily chart, the price is oscillating, acknowledging. So anytime I use the word oscillating, we are talking about acknowledging a key level. So the price is now acknowledging, okay, the short-term equilibrium price level, the 2267 level, here it is. Okay, as you can see, a small consolidation is taking place around that key levels of 2267, all right? All right, so for day traders, this is a good setup now for us. So if we want to trade uh, this S&P 500 at this junction, we need to take into consideration the current market pattern around the 2267. So professional, as you can see, as you come to the top here, this cell, so there is a, a reaction to sell near the top of uh, this uh, small consolidation here around 2267. So the top of the consolidation in the zone of uh, 2296, uh, the lower part of the consolidation at uh, 2240, all right? 2240, 2296, around that zone. So the, the, the expectation that professional day traders will look for an opportunity to sell uh, around that, the top of the consolidation. As the price pull back near the media line, if find a support here, will it pull back again near the media line before it going up? So if you want to buy at this junction, we will prefer it to go above 2296, break above the top of the consolidation, retest it before we take it to the next level. And also, we want to pay attention to this trend line on the daily chart. All right, you see now? All right. So, 
Currently, on the daily chart, we have a consolidation around the short-term equilibrium price level, priority to, okay, uh, bullish signal above the top of the consolidation, but one will attempt to sell, okay, look for opportunity to sell at the top of the consolidation, be ready to take first profit near the media line, and if it breaks below the media line, a final resistance, one will take it down to the lower part of the consolidation. But be aware that the market is bullish, and the market sentiment is quite bullish, and we are likely to see a triangle, all right? This is the end of this tutorial about how to trade the S&P 500 stock index with precision. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial also and we put it to use to make excellent decisions. The key levels that we do not want to forget, the most important, the most influential key level is 2192, is the first long-term equilibrium price level that we must watch throughout 2017. All right. The current short-term equilibrium price level that we must watch up to the end of February is 2267. Apart from those influential key level, we want to tr remember 2344 and 2402. Those are no more key level. We also have trend line on the okay monthly chart as I've already uh, shown it to you. All right. So we want to look for trading setup around those key level, break above retest or break below retest or bullish chart pattern, bearish chart pattern in the vicinity of those key levels. All right. And then we will implement a multiple time frame trading method to trade it like a professional traders. All right. Anytime we change time frame, we must draw trail lines. Okay. Trail lines and key level so we can make decisions. Okay. Uh, more accurately. All right. Happy trading to you all and uh, speak to you soon. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about how to trade S&P 500 stock index with precision.